It took Eleven Labs 40 days to hand me my professionally cloned voice. This is gonna be a mind-blowing video. And it came at the perfect time because I've been savagely sick these past two weeks. My voice is still not recovered. I'm coughing a lot, but we're gonna explore a lot in this video. And if my voice is still destroying me, I might use this AI cloned voice to create some tutorials. So with that being said, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you how this voice clone is gonna speak in different languages. I'm gonna show you how it sounds identical to my voice. And we're also gonna discuss the implications, the advantages, the disadvantages, the fun ways you could use it, the educational ways you could use it, but also the harmful and dangerous ramifications of voice cloning. So without further ado, the 11 Labs affiliate link is in the description. Let's dive right in. So on December 9th, exactly 40 days ago, I went ahead and I made this 11 Labs full tutorial on AI voice cloning, dubbing, speech to text, and more. And what I did there is I ordered a professional voice. And that professional voice, if you watch this tutorial, which I'll link in the description, mentions that it's gonna take him about a month to go ahead and process my voice and give me something that's gonna replicate my voice perfectly. And just today I received this email saying your professional voice is ready. So right here it gives me instructions on how to access it. So right away, the first thing I did is I went to 11 Labs I clicked on speech synthesis and now I can choose my voice. And over here in voice settings, I did toggle it a bit. So I raised the clarity and similarity enhancement to around 79%. And then for stability, I dropped it a bit to around 43%. Now I covered what happens when you increase stability or you decrease or increase clarity and similarity enhancement in the other tutorial. So make sure you watch that. And now let's make me say some silly stuff and see if it actually sounds like me. So now I'm gonna click generate and then I'll play it for you. Subscribing to my channel means that when artificial superintelligence takes over and all of the fears of singularity prove to be warranted, the AI robots will not harm you because you have subscribed to Promo Ambitions channel and Promo Ambitions is seen as an ally by the AI superbots. This is freaking me out. It literally sounds exactly like me. I just played this for a lot of my family members and my girlfriend. They're all freaking out. This is bananas. And if the voice for some reason doesn't sound identical to you, it might be because I'm using an old computer and I'm also using Bandicam to record the audio. It doesn't do the greatest job when it's using the device speakers in order to record. But I'm telling you, it sounds exactly like my voice. The mannerism, the tone of it, it's wild. Now let's play with some features. All right, so now let's play with some of the features. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy the text that I put in as the prompt and I'm gonna go over to ChatGPT. I'm gonna punch it into ChatGPT and I'm gonna have it translate for me in Russian. Now, this is gonna be interesting because I speak Russian fluently. So if you want me to read this, it would sound a little bit like this. Подписка на мой канал означает, что когда искусственный суперинтеллект захватит власть и все опасения о сингулярности окажутся оправданными, and so you get the point. Now, honestly, I don't speak and read Russian very often these days, so I am forgetting a little bit, so I might have read it a little slowly. But let's see what happens when I ask Eleven Labs to go ahead and read this out loud. I'm very, very curious on how this is gonna turn out. So here I paste it in, in Russian. So you do have to make sure that you're choosing the right model to use in 11 Labs. And over here you could see that it's quite easy because it specifies Russian right here. Now we don't have to actually select Russian. You just select this block right here because it'll figure out that this text is in Russian. And then we'll play with some emotions. But for now, let's just go ahead and leave stability at 43%. We'll leave clarity at 79%, and I'm bringing up style exaggeration a little bit, so I'll leave it at around 49%. I don't want it to go into this yellow area because remember, high values, they're gonna exaggerate the speech even more than what the uploaded audio had, and also it could lead to instability in the generated speech, and we don't wanna do that. So actually, I'm gonna drop it a little bit. I'm gonna leave it at around 40%, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate, and hopefully, this is gonna be really impressive. Let's see. 
Подписка на мой канал означает, что когда искусственный суперинтеллект захватит власть и все опасения о сингулярности окажутся оправданными, роботы и и не причинят вам вреда, потому что вы подписались на канал Promo Ambitions и Promo Ambitions рассматривается как союзник с суперботами и и. This is absolutely wild because my AI clone is speaking Russian fluently, much more fluently and without an American accent. Because if I just go to Russia right now and I start speaking Russian, they're going to be like, you've been in America for a really long time. And that'd be correct. Because I do have a pretty thick accent. When I speak Russian, you could tell that I'm a foreigner. But with this voice, it sounds absolutely natural, which is insane. And this just goes to show that if I wanted to recreate a lot of the videos on my channel, I can punch a lot of these into ChatGPT. I could translate them and And then I could punch it into 11 labs and I can actually have it translated perfectly into different languages, Spanish, French, Portuguese. So this is now diving a little bit into the advantages of artificial intelligence and voice cloning, right? The accessibility for entertainment and media, language translation, personalization and virtual assistants, right? Making the AI assistant sound a lot more natural and less robotic. It can also be used for historical preservation. It could be used to preserve the voice of historical figures or loved ones, even dead people, deceased people, relatives, allowing future generations to experience historical speeches or remember family members it could be used for a lot of good but unfortunately it's definitely used for a lot of bad these days there's a lot of ethical issues such as cloning a voice without the individual's consent to go ahead and blackmail them create scams and all that other stuff misinformation and fraud is going to be running rampant during this upcoming election fake news is going to take on a whole new meaning with ai in the picture the loss of job for voice actors this is something that definitely should be considered because this technology could potentially reduce opportunities for voice actors and I believe it already has and it's so difficult for actors to make money as it is. I know a few that make bank doing voiceovers on different types of commercials and they do well for themselves and if you go ahead and you take that from them, this is yet another thing that AI is eclipsing in the arts and that's not good because our artists like american society doesn't treat them well as it is so there's a lot of implications here along with emotional impact because hearing a clone voice of let's say a deceased person it might be distressing or really unsettling rather than comforting for some people but i want to hear what you guys think I also want to know if you want me to create a step-by-step -step tutorial, a very comprehensive one on prompting, because in 11 Labs, there's effective techniques to guide the AI in adding pauses, conveying emotions, and pacing of the speech. I didn't see any tutorials online about it yet, but I'll gladly create one if you guys think it's going to be helpful. So let me know in the comment section. Is 11 Labs something you're considering using? If it is, by the way, I have an affiliate link in the description of this video so go ahead and click that check out 11 labs subscribe to the channel many more ai tutorials coming up i hope to see you all in the next video